I had a feeling this would be my final voyage. One day you will understand the true importance of keeping Luffy and his crew alive here. So listen to me. Keep moving onward. So long. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we are going to be investigating the former captain of the Nox Pirates, Pedro. Pedro is a rather large jaguar mink sporting a rather serious demeanor and surprisingly well-maintained wavy blonde hair, who first made his appearance in the series during the Zoark. At the time, he was the leader of the Guardians, an elite squad who operate directly under Nekomamushi, one of the two leaders of Zo. In this role, Pedro is presented as an extraordinarily loyal individual, although he is quick in resorting to violence in order to solve all of life's problems. As a Guardian, Pedro's primary task was to protect the road poneglyph that resides within the whale tree on Zo. However, this was not always Pedro's occupation, and he had quite the adventure prior to taking up this post. 26 years ago, Pedro was but a young cub when Zoe was visited by the Roger Pirates. As a result of this visit, Pedro became heavily inspired and expressed a desire to accompany Roger on his journey. However, the future Pirate King declined the assistance of the young mink, telling him that his turn to shine would one day come. And while very little about their interaction is known other than this, Pedro appears to have had great respect for Roger and was shocked to learn of his death. 13 years later, Pedro captained the Nox Pirates, a crew made up entirely of minks, featuring other notable figures such as Pecoms, as well as Zeppo, who is the older brother of fan favorite mink, Beppo. The goal of their expedition was to track down the poneglyphs scattered throughout the world, and as expected of investigating these taboo stones, the world government quickly took notice of the crew. And you know what, in fact, this is probably a very good time to mention that Pedro and his crew had no intention of becoming pirates initially, as they had set out from Zoe as simple explorers. However, due to their interest in the poneglyphs, the world government branded them as criminals, and the Nox expedition party became the Nox pirates. The world government also issued bounties on the crew, with Pedro himself having a 382 million berry bounty placed on his head. Of course, Pedro's goals as a pirate were not the only reason for such a large bounty being issued, with the Jaguar Mink also proving to be an exceptionally capable combatant. He possessed incredible strength, a tremendous tolerance for pain, and was even capable of using the Mink exclusive ability, Electro. Furthermore, his skills in the area of swordsmanship are not to be ignored, with Pedro proving himself to be an absurdly dangerous opponent with any form of blade, although his preference appears to be wielding a rapier. Despite their skill, the Nox Pirates would eventually suffer heavy injuries injuries on their journey, as well as a loss of morale. At this point, Picoms took those who could no longer continue and sailed away, leaving only Pedro and Zeppo. Ten years after the beginning of the Nox expedition, Pedro and Zeppo made their way into Totterland, the territory of Charlotte Lin Lin, better known as the Emperor Big Mom. Here they discovered Pecoms, who had joined the Big Mom pirates along with several other ex-members of the Nox pirates, at some stage after leaving the ship. Pedro's intention in Totterland was to steal the road poneglyph possessed by Big Mom, and this didn't go very well at all. Quite notably, Pedro came into conflict with Tamago, a knight of the Big Mom pirates, and while Pedro did manage to eviscerate Tamago's left eye, eventually both he and Zeppo were completely overwhelmed by the Emperor's crew. Once captured, they were subject to the punishment of Big Mom's roulette wheel, which landed on the 100 years of life option. This meant that Big Mom, using her devil fruit powers, would take 100 years combined from Pedro and Zeppo. Sadly, Zeppo died after having 30 years of his life taken, leaving Pedro to bear the remaining 70. At this moment, Pecoms began pleading with Big Mom to reduce the sentence, which worked, sort of, and Big Mom settled on taking 60 years instead, as she was still quite annoyed that Pedro robbed Tamago of his eye. In one final plea, Pedro then removed his own left eye in recompense, stating that he needed to return to Zoe alive in order to witness the coming of a new dawn. Big Mom, encouraged by this show of spirit, then decided to knock another decade off his sentence and proceeded to take 50 years of Pedro's lifespan. Pedro then successfully returned to Zoe, and sometime later he began personally training a rabbit mink by the name of Carrot. It was also during this time that he took up the post as captain of the Guardians. As a phantom island, Zoe remained primarily peaceful and undiscovered, until one day it came under assault by the Beast Pirates, force controlled directly by another of the four emperors, Kaido. This particular onslaught was led by Jack, one of Kaido's three calamities, and its purpose was to find Raizo, a ninja that was hiding on Zo. And so Pedro and the rest of the citizens of Zo were forced into five days and nights of fierce combat, although the Mink tribe was eventually defeated with the help of a poisonous weapon. However, shortly after that, Jack was called away from the island after hearing news of Doflamingo's defeat at the hands of Straw Hat Luffy. Shortly after, half of the Straw Hats led by Sanji arrived on Zo, and Pedro begged them to save the leaders of the Mink tribe, Inuarashi and Nekomamushi, and the Straw Hats with the help of Caesar Clown were able to save the entire tribe. Following Sanji's abduction, Pedro volunteered to join the Sanji retrieval team and traveled to Totterland together with half of the Straw Hats, his sneaky pupil Carrot, and Pecoms, who had come to Zoe to take Sanji, but who was betrayed by Capone Gang Beige. Pedro's purpose during this mission was essentially to finish what he had started and gain a copy of the road poneglyph held by Big Mom, and he worked primarily with Brooke to accomplish this goal. Along the way, Pedro also encountered Tamago and the two faced off again, although the result 
result was inconclusive as a result of Pedro being pulled into the mirror world. That night, Pedro along with the rest of the Sanji retrieval team met secretly with Capone Gang Beige and formed an alliance with the aim of killing Big Mom during Sanji's wedding ceremony the next day. And this plot was also less than successful, with the alliance being forced to flee from Whole Cake Chateau and make a desperate attempt to escape Totaland. However, after reaching the Thousand Sunny, it had become apparent that it had been trapped by the devil fruit abilities of Charlotte Perispero. Pedro, who had come to a firm decision regarding his next course of action, then imparted some final words onto his pupil Carrot in regards to the Straw Hats, telling her that he firmly believed it would be this group of people who would bring about the dawn of the world. Pedro then took it upon himself to deal with Perispero by sneaking up on him and after a brief conflict, activating several explosive devices on his person and sacrificing himself to save the Straw Hats. In doing so, Pedro left a powerful legacy with his pupil Carrot, as well as with his former crewmate Pecoms, who betrayed the Big Mom Pirates after learning of what had happened and assisted the Straw Hat Pirates in their escape from Totterland. Some more fun facts about Pedro. When being escorted out of Totterland after Pedro's first attempt to invade the territory, he had an intriguing conversation with Charlotte Perispero regarding the true meaning of the word Nox, stating that to him, the word night held the same meaning as just before dawn, coinciding with Pedro's strong desire to see the new dawn of the world. As captain of the Guardians, Pedro appears to have had a friendly rivalry with Sicilian, who served as the leader of the Musketeers, which act as the daytime counterpart to the Guardians on Zo. While Pedro only lived to the age of 32, as a result of Big Mom taking his lifespan, his body was the equivalent of 82 years old at the time of the events of Whole Cake Island, which is pretty insane when you think about it. This Jaguar Mink had some pretty amazing moves for an 82 year old. Funnily enough, Pedro was the only member of the Sanji retrieval team to suspect the motives of Charlotte Pudding, even going so far to suggest that they restrain her. And although the team would end up choosing a much friendlier course of action, Pedro's suspicions regarding Pudding would eventually prove accurate. And finally, a truly useless fact, Pedro seemed to very much enjoy standing in trees and high places in general, which led him to being given the nickname Pedro of the Treetops. And that pretty much does it for Pedro. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds also going directly to support the channel. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101. One.